Hello everybody, Darkspine Sonic 3 here, coming to you with the next episode of Super Mario Sunshine. First things first, we're gonna come over here to Rico Harbor, because why not? Really, Rico Harbor's a lot of fun. And we're gonna go grab a Shine Sprite in the cage. It, was, it, it, it just kinda gave up its little match with Brock Lesnar. So it's just stuck there in the cage. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how anyone would be able to get out of there. Except if there weren't that hatch on the floor. There's a hatch on the floor. I've played this level a lot. I don't know why. It's kind of a one-time deal. Anyway, all we have to do is basically get up to the top and get in. We can easily just climb up through here. And ignore that spider thing. I'm not entirely sure what it is. When you're climbing vertically up a wall, you press the B button to punch these hatches. When you're upside down and you're hanging from the ceiling, you press A. That's very important to remember. Because they don't really tell you and you will fall if you don't know. Obviously. These wind things are, um, you can't really kill them. You just spray them with water and they go away for like a minute, and then they come back. They only stay and attack you within, a uh, maybe like, I don't know, like a 50 foot radius. I don't know, they differ. Anyway, with that being said, there's our first Shine Sprite of the day. Um... I think now would be a very good time for us to move on to Bianco Hills. After that, we're going to go to Gelato Beach, and then... I know that at 10 Shine Sprites, we actually unlock a new level, and we actually get more, um... exposition. Let's talk to this Red Toad. The man that took the princess had some kind of brush! Is that what he uses to draw graf ah, ah. I don't know. Maybe it's what he uses to draw his graffiti with. Could be. I don't know. Anyway, in Bianca Hills, red coins of the Windmill Village. That's basically the only village that's in Bianca Hills. You can see them all just scattered around there. It's pretty cool. I like this place. This is one of two red coin missions in the actual overworld for uh, Bianca Hills. Over there is Peanut Park. That's where we'll be going today in our little exposition episode. Down there is Rico Harbor. It's very detailed. I love it. Um, over there is Delfino Plaza. Probably up here somewhere. Never mind. I gotta get higher up. I'm very determined to uh, to find this because it just looks awesome. There is a giant tree on the island, and when I say giant, I mean like humongous. It's probably it's probably over there somewhere, but that is where the Piana Village lies. They actually chill out on top of that tree, I believe. Or, like, there are various giant trees there. Ah, no, we'll never see it. So, let's just move on and grab these red coins. As always, there are eight. That's never gonna change. Nintendo doesn't like change. Um, I guess the, I suppose the red coins are restricted to just the windmill village and most of them are going to be found on top of the houses um, one of them is actually right next to a blue coin and even though it's not over here I figure hey I should grab it is it in here there it is that brings our total up to four we had like nine before but, uh, that, 
that didn't last. I got a game over and I didn't save. That was that was very bad. And um, I'm surprised that this game got an E rating despite the fact that those enemies, when you knock them against the wall, and when Mario jumps on various other enemies, they kind of like... I, I mean, I understand it's, you know, the graffiti goop. I just think it's strange that they had to color it like a brownish red. It looks like blood. Ha! Missed! Stupid. Go. Oh. You might be asking yourself, Hey! How do we move? Well, gee. I thought that wasn't gonna move. Might as well grab this blue coin, too, while we're at it. Screw the rules. Red coins are our only friends. Except for Flood. I fell. And I'm running out of water, too. That's not good. Yeah, I'm out of water. You can refill your water in, in any um, body of water as long as, you know, you make a little splishy splash. And I like that. I like that, um... Mm, Mario quit falling! I'm getting frustrated. Like, extremely frustrated. I can snap at any moment. This game is up. <sighs> I fell three times. I want to see if stomping on this would let me any, anything good. That hurts? I feel as if this should drop a blue coin. Really? No? Ah, well. There are plenty of blue coins to be found in these levels, considering there are 30 in each regular level, 20 in Delfino Plaza, and 10 in Corona Mountain. That brings the total to uh, 240. I like that. Let's grab as many blue coins as we can because we're greedy. Or at least I am. I don't know about you guys. Hey, look, another one. This game likes me. Not gonna lie, I forgot where the other uh, blue coins were. Or red coins. Blue coins are no problem. Because they hold a more prominent role in the game. Ah, well. We will find them. I promise. That's not the way. It's not in there. It probably was. I am out of breath. I'd like to take a moment to talk about starting a commentary channel and actually doing things. There are various different types of commentary channels. The one I do is a solo commentary channel, hence why I'm the only person here. It's very difficult. Um, it's not. It's it's definitely not an easy thing to do to get in front of a microphone for 15 minutes every day and try to make an entertaining video. So there are some people that do it like it's nothing, and there are other people that struggle with it like I do. I have friends that help me sometimes, but mostly I'm a one-man job, and I and I think that it's. I, I like what I do. I think it's a very great thing that I pursue. And I think that's the main thing that actually makes me want to do it even more. I think it's the fact that my main reason for starting a commentary channel and even trying to upload these videos timely is because I like being a help to people. 
I come from a background where depression was very prominent. It was very prominent in my siblings and I, and um, what cheered me up as well as what cheered some of them up were watching YouTubers like Chugga Conroy and Nintendo Capri Sun do what they did. And they were solo people that eventually they came together and they made their own work. It's a very important thing to me. And the reason why I do what I do is because I like helping people. It's... It may seem cliche, it may seem corny, but I'm not in it for the money. Yes, there is an opportunity to get money doing this. There is a very big money. Very big monetary opportunity. But, I don't care about it. I really don't. And it was watching people like Nintendo Capri Sun and Chugga Conroy, Proton John, Josh Jepson. People like those that actually helped me cope with situations that would have normally been too much to bear. I'm not one to to lay everything out on the internet. I'm not that kind of person who would just let total strangers know things about me. But this is a very important thing to me. And it's something that I plan to continue doing for a very long time. I know that in the past there have been numerous hiatuses. I worked on a channel with various other people. Sonicoms, we were called, and I remember that um, we would have upwards of nine people working together, and then it ended up turning to three. <laughs> it was horrible. And I'm working to get that channel back up as well as this one. It's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time, and it's something that I really plan to keep on doing, because the two things that are my favorite things to do are play video games and help people. And if I can do both and be happy with it, I will be the happiest person in the world. <sighs> that being said, here we are in Tomorrow Beach. In this episode, our main goal is getting these really weird mega quacks off of the mirrors. The mirrors are used to um, nurture the sun egg, the sa sand egg, the sandberg egg. Sandberg. Sandberg egg. I probably still said it. They're used to give the sandbird egg warmth and it's used to nurture it. And without it, it will die. You might notice that there's a really weird green caterpillar up on top of that orb. And that's Wiggler. We'll see him in a little bit. And by that I mean next episode. After this, this one's going to be a long episode. After this, we're going to Peanut Park, a new level, where we'll find some very unexpected things happen. Why, why are you guys still uh, standing? Go away. Away. I guess it wasn't high enough. I don't like them. Let's do this. It's not a very difficult... It's not a very difficult mission. It's definitely pretty quick. And, um... My biggest question is, why does Wiggler, like, fall apart while he's sleeping? He just kinda... Falls apart? Maybe his muscles melted or something and... They severed and he just kinda, like, died? But that wouldn't really explain the next mission at all. Oh, look! Blue coin. I caught it. And with that, we have our 11th Shine Sprite. 
And next, we're moving on to Pina Park. And we're going to investigate that weird submar submarine that's uh, shaped like a very, very familiar enemy. See? The game's even reminding us about it. Make sure we don't forget. NEVER FORGET! Oh! This blue toad looks very panicked. This is gonna hurt. Horrible! Horrible! Princess! I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Wait a second. Did I... Did I get... Hey! That's... Weird. I mean, we got this, didn't we? No, we didn't! Huh. Oh yeah, we got that in the previous recording that I that I scrapped. Um, this is actually my second attempt at a uh, a play through the game. I recorded three episodes, but but I record them all in unison on the same file, and the file got corrupted before I could split it and salvage anything from it. It was very unfortunate. Um. But yes, there are various secret shine sprites hidden throughout Delfino Plaza. I probably didn't mention that. Nor did I actually um, show off the map. Maps give you totals. In Delfino Plaza, we have zero. Of the, we have none of the blue coins. Only one of the shine sprites. On the airstrip, we have one of the uh, shine sprites. The blue coin. There's only one that's found on the airstrip. Counts towards Delfino Plaza for a total of 20. Bianca Hills, we have 9 of 30. Rico Harbor, we have 1 of 30. Gelato Peach, we have 2 of 30. And we're gonna even get, we're gonna get even more. There's a total of 10 Shine Sprites in every level. Delfino Plaza has a lot more, I believe 40. No, no, probably not. I don't recall. But we'll figure it out soon. Or there's 11. There's 11 Shine Sprites in each level. Why are these guys fighting? Back off! I know for a fact that you can't swim a stroke either! Don't get all high and mighty with me. You swim like a stone. They're fighting over being able to swim. Okay. I see. Let's do this. What he plans to do with that Daddy's thing. Maybe that's why he's kidnapping Princess there. Peach. <laughs> My sister made that joke. She's a pretty clever person sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway, here we are in Peanut Park. Mecha Bowser appears. It's kind of like Mecha Godzilla but a lot less exciting. You'd think that a giant m robotic version of Bowser would be, like, awesome. It, it really is. Oh. Oh, never mind. That's in the next area. Oh! This guy! <laughs> when you get 30 Shine Sprites, he'll give you a pair of sunglasses that will... That will dim the screen, including the capture, and they will. Um, it, it will make the game darker. Plus, it makes Mario look pretty cool. What's this guy have to say? Oh ho, a guest! How fabulous! Welcome indeed! I am the director of Pina Park. It's truly my pleasure. Because of these blasted Koopas, we got few visitors. Sadly, our park has become more than a bit run down. We don't have a single star attraction to speak of. Sure you do. We'll see it in a minute. I like how Shadow Mario just, like, laughs. So, um... Wait a second, what's going on? Eh, who am I kidding? I don't know what's gonna happen. He's gonna 
gonna part the Red Seas and Satan's gonna come out in the form of Mecha Bowser and wreck everything. That's what usually happens. Get away. No, not yet. Because as we know, the game can't just end here. What if it did and, like, that giant robotic Bowser just, like, ate Mario? That'd be kind of funny. Where it's just, like, the end. Credits roll. Oh, fire. That's the most realistic looking fire I've ever seen in a video game. Amazing! What a spectacle! Is this a new show of ours? You guys are great! Whoever hired you needs a raise! I love how you play the fearless hero when he's like... a bad version of you! But you both look the same and stuff! Well, as director of this park, I want to ensure your success, so how about I provide you with a hero's ride? Follow me! They're called Mario Twins. They look the same. <laughs> My sister's in the room with me. We remember that. Okay, so the gimmicks with this giant Mecha Bowser is that he shoots bullet bills and fire at you. The fire is a close range thing. Awesome, I hit him. I used to do that all the... Up. Um, uh, con con conflict! That was a very conflicting decision for me. Do I shoot the rocket or do I waste it? What? 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 Oh. This battle's over. Never mind. This battle will be over. This battle's over. What are you gonna do? No, nothing? Okay. So now he's just the head on legs. He's got legs for days. Mario! Shut up, girl. That never ceases to amuse me. Gasp! I could have spoiled this from the very beginning. Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I won't let you take Mama Peach away. Mama? Mama Peach? I'm your mama? Bowser slipped her a roofie. Yeah, Papa told me all about it. <laughs> he even described how he did it and what he did afterward. Not very magic. Oh, this, all my wishes come true. A strange old man in a white coat gave it to me. I've noticed that magic doesn't really exist in the Super Mario universe anymore. Before everything was magic. Now the only thing that's magic is well, magic Koopa. He never fights fair. He said, Junior, you gotta try to outsmart Mario. So I tried to get Mario sent to prison. But they didn't lock him up. And now he came to steal Mama Peach again. Yep. You! You pest! Stop following us! I'm speechless. That's... That cutscene just never fails to amaze me. And neither does that balloon. No. That balloon looks so me. pointy it could pop itself. Anyway, they're heading towards Corona Mountain. That is where the final battle and the final level are, obviously. Whenever there's a uh, creepy mountain, you can guarantee that's that's what's gonna be. You can guarantee that's where the last place is gonna be. It just kinda stares at you off in the distance. There's Gelato Beach over there, and there's. Serena Beach. They're kind of right next to each other. You could practically swim to them. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, with that, we've got Unlucky 13 Shine Sprites. Thankfully, no game overs. 
And with that, I would like to say thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, you can comment on the video, and you can subscribe, and I will be sure to keep doing this series. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.